Good morning friends. Today is 14th July 2023, Friday 14th week in ordinary time. In our first reading today, we hear how God reassured Jacob when he was about to embark on the journey to the land of Egypt upon hearing the joyous news that Joseph, one of his beloved sons, had not died but in fact lived and had become the great regent of all Egypt. Jacob was uncertain and unsure when it was all true and whether it was for him to go to Egypt, but the Lord reassured Jacob, telling him that it had been his plan all along how he had sent Joseph ahead of everyone else in his family so that he could take good care of them in the land of Egypt during the time of great famine and hardships. This was how Jacob was convinced to go to Egypt with his whole entire family and was reunited with Joseph at last. God took good care of Jacob, Joseph and their whole family and fulfilled everything that he had promised to all of them. God has always been faithful to the covenant that he has established with his faithful once and this was no exception. In our gospel passage today, we hear of the instructions that the Lord Jesus gave to his disciples as he sent them out to carry out their mission and work among the people to do, go, to do God's will and to proclaim the good news so that they might know what they were sent to do and also they might have to endure and face the challenges, trials, rejections and persecutions which might be obstacles and stumbling blocks in the way of those who follow the Lord and His ways. The Lord told them that their journey might be fruitful and good in some occasions but might also be challenging and tough in other occasions and they might have to stand up for their faith from time to time and defend their beliefs before others. But the Lord told them that they truly had nothing to be worried about. Each and every one of us have been entrusted with the grace of God's blessings and we have received His most generous love. He has called on all of us to share these blessings and all the graces we have received with one another and to proclaim the truth and salvation that He has brought into our midst so that we may we may truly be his faithful and great missionaries and disciples in proclaiming his truth, good news and love to all the people all over the world, even in our smallest and most significant actions and works. God bless us all. Amen.